your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by the DiDonato Family Fun Center in Hamilton with 26 professional grade all hardwood bowling lanes and our upscale bar and grill, Alley, with only the highest quality ingredients made from scratch. And good late Sunday evening. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Hopefully you got out and enjoyed it in some way. I know that Mother Nature was not really cooperating with us. Much of it, unfortunately, especially for out, any outdoor plans with the humidity and mugginess and those scattered showers and thunderstorms that were out there. But hope you're able to at least ex in, in, enjoy a nice summer weekend in here in July. Temperatures across the area in the eastern seaboard really staying on the muggy and humid side. We see the upper 70s and feeling that much worse, as I mentioned, with the humidity and mugginess. But some scattered showers and thunderstorms that are out there now will continue to be the case isolated throughout the rest of the overnight and through tomorrow especially. And could also see some patchy fog, especially head towards the shoreline if you're heading any kind of early plans for tomorrow during the daybreak hours themselves. A little closer to home. 77 right now in Vineland and Paris 7s in Fortescue. 75 in Asbury Park, uh, excuse me, 75 in Atlantic City, 76 in Asbury Park. Head 195 westward at 79 in the state capital, 80 in Marlton. So definitely on the mild side for this evening. That will continue to be the case. But again, making it that much worse will be the mugginess and humidity across the area, unfortunately, throughout, it looks like, for the rest of this week as we talk about more hotter conditions. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Scattered showers and storms popping through here in eastern parts of Pennsylvania, moving into western sections of, of Jersey. That will continue to be the case as we head through the rest of this evening on into tomorrow morning because we do have a warm front that's off to our north. So much northern parts of Pennsylvania up into upstate New York on the border of, of Jersey and upstate New York. That's where it will be along with an upper level low. So we're going to miss the bulk of the heavier rain in terms of the sustained organized rainfall. Can we still get some showers and some thunderstorms? Can dump a decent amount of rainfall tomorrow? Yes, obviously. But we're not going to see the sustained rainfall that obviously northern sections of Jersey up into upstate New York can certainly see as we head into most of tomorrow on into tomorrow evening. We're going to be talking about humid, muggy, and warm conditions. That's going to be our biggest storyline, especially as we head into the middle of the week. For tonight, 70 degrees will do it inland, lower 70s as you head towards the shoreline and maybe seeing a shower or storm possible popping up and that patchy daybreak fog with that southerly flow helping to aid in that humidity and mugginess throughout the overnight. Now for tomorrow, we'll have cloudy skies. Again, on and off showers and storms and rain, it's not going to be a washout. It's not going to be any kind of all-day rainfall, just some pop-up showers and storms throughout the day, especially any place that can get some sunshine out there. That will cause the atmosphere to become unstable and see a better chance of maybe seeing a shower or storm across the air. Temperatures in the low to mid-80s, but again, feeling much worse, obviously, with that southerly flow and that humidity and mugging is making it feel that much warmer out there. Upper air pattern, here's the upper level low pressure system that's pushing through the plain, or the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. And it extends that warm front up into New England. That will continue to push on off to the north and the east. So again, we're not going to see the bulk of the rainfall because of that. That'll be obviously up into, say, I-80 northward into upstate New York. So that's going to be the main key. So for us, we're just going to be stuck, unfortunately, in the humid and muggy pattern as we head into the rest of this week on into the midweek section. You can start to see even some darker reds trying to sneak in here. That's because we'll be in the 90s, it looks like, as we head into the middle of the week. And then we'll eventually when we get into the weekend, that's when it's going to be the worst. And even the shoreline, unfortunately, I don't think you're going to escape it either as we take a look at the seven-day forecast right now. Tuesday, we see ourselves 89 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Could see some, uh, obviously, some uh, humid conditions out there, especially with the temperatures popping up into the 90s. It's going to feel like near 100 as we head into the middle of the week. And then here we go with the Norcast plus three days. Saturday, 98. Sunday, 96. Monday, 95. Wow. And as I mentioned, the shoreline, you're not escaping it next weekend either. It looks like we're going to see low to mid 90s, humid and muggy conditions. Thanks for joining me this week, and I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Friday night. Take care.